to Los Angeles. It's been a hot moment, but for today's video, we're going to do a foundation tested video. It's one of those videos where I test out a foundation, I wear it throughout the entire day, and show you what it looks like from beginning to end. And for today, I'm going to be doing the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation. Now, this is pretty interesting because this actually came out five years ago, and they recently reformulated it. And I liked the old formula, but I realized that the old formula would get a little bit creasy here, and it would really oxidize and change color. So for today's video, I'm going to be live demonstrating this to you, show you how it covers texture, and of course, some acne prone, breakout prone skin. Also, this foundation is meant to be completely touch up free, so no powder and no blotting throughout the day. And it's supposed to wick oil. It has a clay in it that actually sucks the sebum out of your skin, but keeps your face moisturized. So I'm gonna be boxing. I am going to be living a hectic day here in LA, and I'm gonna show you how it works, and we're gonna see how it holds up. So to get started, it is one fluid ounce for $56. That is expensive. Normally you get a little bit more. Um, the old bottle, I believe, was a little bit larger, but at the same time, I noticed, and you'll see in the tutorial, I did not need to use as much foundation as I normally would. So I feel like I'm using a lot less. Also, it's got 22 different shades, so it's pretty much a match for anyone. And as you can see when I apply, the color does not oxidize the way the old one did. So without blabbing, let's get started. Let's talk about the formula and let's put it on. So to start off, the Sephora website says to use the Immaculate Foundation with a primer and with fingertips or a brush. Then I'm going to be using the Hangover RX. The Too Faced Hangover RX has coconut extracts as well as probiotics, so it's supposed to be really helpful for the skin, um, and it is silicone free. So I'm just going to apply that to half. As that soaks in, I am going to go in with the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation. The color that I have is buff. It's the only one I've got. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use my fingertips to do this. And I am going to just apply this sans primer to my skin and show you how it covers. Got a little blemish there. Now the new formula is supposed to oxidize a lot less than the old formula. It's also supposed to be even more liquid to powder and more long wear and oil control. And I loved the old formula. The old formula did crease a little bit by my smile lines, but seeing as this is supposed to be an improvement of the old formula, I can't wait to see how it goes. The Sephora website also recommends working very quickly with your fingers because this is a liquid to powder and it does dry quickly. So let's just put that on. So that's about how it covers acne scars with one layer. I'm also going to show you over this active acne. Uh, as you can see, it's medium to full coverage even just with one application. And they say that it's not recommended to apply with a beauty blender. I felt like a wet beauty blender might help extend the drying time. But if they say they don't recommend it, I'ma listen. <laughs> Which is quite unusual for me. So here is what it looks like in one layer, and I'm super impressed at how well this matches my neck. Now I'm going to use this also on the other side where I had the Too Faced RX Hangover Primer. And I do have to be honest, it does seem that you have to work very, very quickly. I noticed that this does go on extraordinarily velvety, which is so nice. Um, but it does tend to dry very, very quickly. I actually think that this formula might dry quicker than the old one. And honestly, guys, when it comes to acne-prone skin, I do love using fingertips as an application method. It really gets things flawless. It doesn't leave brush strokes. You can really mold the product and kind of heat it up and push it into pores. I know that there's all these fancy beauty blenders and brushes and Scylla sponges and bell peppers that people can use, but I've always been very, very impressed with just plain old fingertips, the tools that nature gave me. It is for sensitive oily combination skin, which is what I have. This is one layer. If you want, we can go over in a second layer on just those areas that are still showing through since I am not applying concealer today. But Hourglass in general is cruelty free. They are one of the more natural brands at Sephora. They are high performance. They are phenomenal in my experience. This is the final look. And specifically this formula has an ingredient called the Cashmere Kayonite Clay. It says that the new clay has been shown to absorb 75% of its weight in sebum while retaining moisture in the skin. So that's the clay that soaks up the oil, the sebum in your pores, but retains the moisture so it doesn't dry you out. So this is how it is on my skin. It says no blotting papers needed. And I have to be honest, when I put my hands over my skin, it's dry. I don't feel tight, so I don't feel like it's sucking me up. Like I can move, it kind of feels airless. 
and I don't feel like I need a powder or a setting spray. It doesn't look cakey, which is why I would normally use a setting spray. Let's see the transfer. There's no transfer. Um, so it doesn't look like I need a setting spray or a powder. So this is the face, and let me put on the rest of my makeup, and we'll get on with our day and test this foundation out. Now, I just finished my face with makeup. It's been about 20 minutes, and I have to say this foundation feels amazing on me. Even without powder, the blush and the contour blend in super, super well. So that being said, let's get dressed. Let's start sweating and see how this foundation holds up. Ah, oh, that traditional LA traffic and smog. Anyways, I have decided to put on regular people clothes. These are the vibes and the mess. Um, you can't see, but these are meshy. They're pretty cool. So let's get to boxing. Let's get to working out and sweating on this face, and we'll see how it goes. Hi. So this is Otto. He's Ben and Victor's cat, and this is my snack. I'm having a banana and some raw cacao nibs, which are like the raw unfiltered form of chocolate because you know chocoholic here. And it is time to head to Santa Monica and get our sweat on. <laughs> for this. It's too early. Um, this babe is gonna tell me all about, okay, tell me what you think of my foundation. Okay. Good lighting. I love it. First impressions, what no do you think line, it is? No line, no line, oh. Um, to the test, this is a beauty is this expert. Like, is this, ew, is this, a vegan? is this a vegan line? It is a vegan line, but it's a mainstream line that's sold at Sephora and I believe at where you work. Is it Tarte? No. What is it? Oh, yes. We don't sell hourglass. Oh, sorry. Well, she thought. <laughs> she thought. She tried. Hourglass immaculate. She tried. Yeah. She tried. She tried. I love you. So we're gonna gossip about my life and about your life and get some coffee. My YouTube water bottle. YouTube. Do you like my swag? YouTube. What's up? <laughs> I love that one. I can't even express to you how good it feels to catch up with her. Candy lives here in LA, so I don't get to see her all the time. Um, fun fact, we met at the very first Gen Beauty I ever attended. And I think I've spoken about this a little bit. I talked about it a lot more in a Pop Sugar interview, but I've been going through some changes recently. You saw that I cleaned up my closet, which has been monumental, but I've also been cleaning people out of my life and just kind of honing back in on the things that make me me that I think I've ignored for a while. And I was signed into a contract. It's one of those things, it's just, it was not what I thought it would be and it was very uh, unfulfilling in a certain sense just because I feel like I was deceived by people around me and then the people who stood up for me uh, kind of brought certain things that were happening to my attention and I was just like, oh my God, and as I've kind of found my own direction and kind of honed back in on my core messaging, I realized that I have to make some changes to the things that are going on around me. So being able to talk with her about that and just to have her listen to me has been monumental. So let's see how the foundation does after boxing. Uh, as you can see, you can see a little bit of scarring. So you can see texture through this, but at the same time, the oily aspect is absolutely phenomenal. Guys, this is Box Union and their new location in Santa Monica. They just opened and they have a whole bunch of different options when it comes to classes. I'm doing the 45 minute signature class, so I am going to get geared up and I've never really boxed before, so wish me luck. I am so sweaty. 
This was unreal. Look at this. Even my hair has attacked itself. Wow. <sighs> so like I said, I've never boxed before. I honestly thought it would be a little bit more like angry, but it was actually extraordinarily empowering, extraordinarily inspirational, and extraordinarily motivating. Extraordinarily motivating. I can't even speak. My abs hurt, my legs hurt, my butt hurts, my everything hurts. Um, look at this. <laughs> I am going to let this dry off for a minute. One of the best things is that it wasn't just boxing and self-defense, it was empowering and it was cardio. Dude, we did jumping jacks, we did abs, we kind of like danced to the music. There's so much technique that goes into it as well. First off, so that you don't damage your wrists or your hand, but also the way you have to twist your feet just in order to get your feet in the right place and get your body movement behind the jab. And what was amazing is that I was in the class with the instructor, Kyle, and his whole mantra was think about what you are grateful for, think about your family, think about the things and the people that inspire you, like my subscribers and the people who have gone through my struggles with me. And it wasn't fighting against anything. It was fighting for yourself. It was fighting for those people, which was absolutely, absolutely amazing. And one of the mantras that was repeated is that without pain and suffering, there is no growth and happiness, which I totally live by. And it was great to hear that verbalized. Like, this is my healthy backpack, a Maribach bag. And even it feels like 100 pounds right now. I should not have eaten oatmeal for breakfast. Ugh but I'm hungry again, so let's go get some refuel. Let's go get some snacks. Snacks. <laughs> I'm at this place called The Hive and they have some vegan options. These are their vegan tacos and vegan kale chips that look so good. And a lot of people are worried about fats and carbs. And honestly, especially after a workout, you need to get your carbs on. This is a no junk raw protein bar that's vanilla cashew coconut from Papa Steve's. And I mean, I studied nutrition for a while. If you want a video on it, let me know. But after you expend energy, your muscles are basically starving for carbs. And if you don't give them pure carbohydrate and glucose, your muscles can't always absorb them. So this is glucose plus fructose. And then of course, a whole bunch of healthy fats. But that's what I'm snacking on. cousin Carlisle um, is really into hiking and rock climbing and she and I are planning some fun exciting stuff so I am just looking at what they have as far as backpacks and stuff and for some of the stuff that she wants to do uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of gear so I'm just in here exploring and did you know that they have tents that weigh only like two pounds that is unreal that is unreal and they're also very expensive <laughs> I'm that person in the store, just taking a nap in a tent. <laughs> Perusing the aisles in Ulta. I'm swatching things and getting glittery fingers. And seeing as today is foundation tested, if there is a new foundation on the market that you want me to test over acne prone or bumpy skin, uh, let me know and I will. Speaking of, here is a little update of what's going on. Um, I am literally oil free. Normally by this time I'd be so oily and I don't feel cakey. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. This is what I'm wearing today. And bae. Bae. Oh my god, so I'm walking through the fragrance section and I'm looking at all of these things that I want. And I used to be such a fragrance addict, but I kind of did some research and through my schooling kind of figured out some stuff that's in fragrances that people just don't talk about. And as part of my Clear Skin project, I actually stopped using all fragrances and also cut out some other toxins in my life, including the emotional ones, which I'll talk about in those videos when I'm allowed to. Um, but yeah, like looking at all these things, like I used to spend so much money on these and now I'm just like knowing what's in them and knowing that we don't know those answers and seeing how excluding them from my body has made such a difference in my skin. Yeah, it's, it's interesting guys, it's interesting. NYX Cosmetics, this stuff 
is the absolute best, I swear to God, for drugstore foundation. It's my current favorite. 24 shades, they will match anybody. Full buildable coverage, one to five drops. Amaze balls. Just got back and I am grabbing a snack. Um, my body is just so sweaty and so stinky that I need to freshen up. Normally I would be so oily by this point and I notice that my skin is like producing oil but the foundation is honestly handing it gorgeously. Like, do you see this? So guys, just a fun fact that I want to share how I freshen up without actually taking a shower. Um, first and foremost, keep these with you, makeup removers or wipes. Whenever I work out or get sweaty, I always wanna make sure just to remove whatever's going on um, on these areas that tend to break out because my shoulders really tend to do that. And having these little wipes with me is the best way to freshen up. And another thing that kind of gets messed up is my hair. And what I actually use is the Daphne. Isn't this thing cool? This is basically a heated hairbrush. I have tried these in the past and I have been sorely, sorely disappointed. Um, this one actually like goes in so you can even touch your scalp. And that's mainly what happens to me is that you see my natural curls come back right near my scalp and of course right here near the ends. So this is what I do to kind of minimally heat process them but get my hair back into a somewhat normal state really quickly on the go. I really just wanna make sure they get those roots and those baby hairs because like I said, whenever I work out or if I'm just in a hot, humid environment, this area by my scalp is what gets nasty. Look at those, do you see those? So, this is what's up. Do you like my awkward camera angles? Hi, my name is Armpit. <laughs> So love bugs, I got changed. Um, I got about 100 emails done. I got some editing and uploading done, score. So I actually uploaded a video, um, a little bit of homework as well. And this is how the face is holding up. I started to get slightly, slightly oily around my nose. Hope that you can see it. I'm going to head out to a meeting and then I'll come back and show you. So it is, what time is it? It is six o'clock right now. This has been on for 12 hours. Um, and this is how we're doing. And welcome to Hollywood. I am meeting my friend Jennifer Chan. She is a beauty writer and a blogger. I met her at Cosmoprof years ago. Absolutely love and adore her. She just got back from living in London and Paris for like six months. She's headed to a new city like in two days. And I was like, girl, I need to see you and hug you before you leave. So we were planning on getting pressed juicery, but I am lost. So I'm gonna find my way. So we're at pressed juicery. There's like a thing that you can't peel and I literally just like peeled it because I wanted to know it was there and they're like, oh, we're sold out of that. I was like, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> cool, so this is like a little bodega, pressed juicery. They've been taking over the world, right? They have. It's frozen freeze yogurt. <laughs> yeah. It's juice that's literally frozen and mine's on the way. This is Jen. Um, I have a confession to make. I knew that she would be wearing florals. <laughs> so that's why I wear florals. And then I didn't know that, I guess my butt ripped. <laughs> and dress ripped, not your butt. <laughs> my dress ripped and so people can see everything. Um, she's literally a mogul. <laughs> literally, no, literally an inspiration as both a businesswoman, as a writer, as everything. You. So check out her blog, obviously, shameless self-promotion. Thank you. Um, but I love her and she's moving in like a week. So I Chicago. Like, I need to see her. I didn't know if you wanted me to say. Yeah, moving so I was Chicago. like, I need to see you. I blog. love you. And she's also telling me about this face shaver. Do you yes. remember that video where I shaved my face? Apparently there's like a professional face shaver. It's called Dermaflash. Apparently it lasts longer and it works better. So she's she's getting me all sorts of beauty <laughs> trend smooth exactly flowing so smooth so clean <laughs> so fresh. My butt is so out. He had to rescue me. Wait, can you show my butt? Okay, guys, this is PG thirteen explicit. I'm wearing underwear, but can you believe that? I was walking around like that. How embarrassing. <laughs> Raw and filtered. Cassandra and her butt. Bad. So 
so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> is this what you signed up for? Is this what you wanted to watch when you clicked on this vlog? <laughs> That's what I thought. Here I am in my natural habitat. I got my Be Beautiful shirt. Just some swaggies because you know how we roll. We're seeing Arika for dinner. It's been so long since I've seen this girl. I love Arika. And she's got allergies, so I got her tissues. It's butt time. This is the Tofu Deliciousness. This is Arika. I love how we're both chilling. Oh my god, wait, no makeup. Um, wait, look, goals. Oh. Ariana Grande, goals. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> he said it for me. Back over here, so I wanted to show you the very final end of the day look. What a happy Sunday. I hope you enjoyed coming with me today. This is the end. It has been about 16 hours. Look at this. I have not done a single touch up today. I'm honestly so impressed and I actually like the side that I didn't use the primer on. This is the side that I used the Too Faced with. It's a little bit more oily. Look at this. The only place that I have oil on is my nose. This is after sweating today. This is after boxing today. I am so amazed. Um, after I sweated profusely, I did notice a little bit of creasing, but look at that. That's like no creasing as compared to a normal foundation. No primer needed on this side, no powder needed, no touch-ups. I am honestly amazed. Um, that being said, I did like the old formula, the old Hourglass formula. This one beats it out of the park. The color is amazing. It feels so good on my skin. Now, I have to be honest, it doesn't cover texture too well. So if you have really raised bumps or deep scars, you might wanna be careful. But if you are oily, this is like a dream come true. And if you get that oil off your face, you're removing one component of acne, so it could help to decrease your breakouts. This, like, you've seen the before and after. Like, you're seeing it in real time. I am so freaking impressed. And for $56, I'm not gonna lie, it's expensive, it's a prestige product. But I'm so, so impressed. And like I said, I didn't need a lot of it. So that is my final look, that is my final review. Out of all of the foundation tested videos that I've done, I think that this has been my favorite one to date. Like, I love this. It's just, it's for me. Um, this is where I have an active breakout. Ooh, Victor, you have a hole in your ceiling. His ceiling's like falling apart and I didn't notice until I just looked up. Yeah. Anyways, what's that? We told Maurice about it, so he's supposed to fix it. You knew it's about it? Up water. One of my favorite YouTubers used to live in this building and I was like, Victor, why is this so familiar? What do you say? Well, I'm still, I still live here. What are you talking about? My f I Yeah, your favorite YouTuber. Hello. My <laughs> other favorite YouTuber and she's gone and I'm like, no, why couldn't I have stalked you for like the two years that you lived here because you were like a next door neighbor. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbing. Post a comment right now with the foundation that you have been interested in buying but have not spent the money on yet. Drugstore or high end. And I will do a foundation tested and we'll see how it works out. <laughs> Get over here. I can't. Try harder. <laughs> let me koala you. Koala. Here, let me let me zoom back. Oh my god, <laughs> I hope we don't destroy his We're, I'm just sitting on a cat box and it might destroy the cat box. Anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed coming um, in a day in a life with me and that you enjoyed this foundation tested. Right now, post a comment with the foundation that you're thinking of buying so that I can test it out for you. Also hit the ding dong bell. Come here, baby. <laughs> Be sure to hit my bell because you know I'd hit your bell. And um, this is Otto with the kitty cat, the Siamese. We are Siamese, if you please. <laughs> Anyways, Otto and I love you. Thank you for joining me. Um, check Otto out on Instagram. He's really sexy. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Mwah!